is the basic engine that's taken out of the chainsaw. Um, I had to make a new back plate to hold the magneto assembly. That was the flywheel with the magnet in. These were the two servos. Fuel, fuel inlet pipe to the engine. This is the primer. I don't know whether you can see it. Both connections for the servos. This is the ignition kill switch wire. And if we turn the engine slightly to the side, what you can see here is there is the geared motor. It is used as the starter motor. That is the gearbox for the motor. That is a brushless motor which is used as an alternator. Now here I've taken the pulley off the um, brushless motor. These are the two servos, one for the throttle, which is the one at the back, one for the choke, which is the one at the front here. Both the choke and the throttle can be operated remotely from computer. If I connect both of the servos at the same time, Yeah, this zoom shot's a bit better. There is the brushless motor, which actually generates a fair amount of current, certainly enough to keep the main battery running. There is the motor that actually starts the engine. Now, if I turn Turn this round. The box has a little bit of a dimple in it. That is the motor clutch unit. It is a centrifugal clutch. The outside turns round. So the faster the engine goes, it will grip the outer plate which will then transmit the drive on this engine which came from a chainsaw the chain was actually driven from the tooth sprocket down there but for the UAV we're going to have to drive it from the outside of here so we have a 50 tooth sprocket here which is fixed to the engine we have a 50 tooth sprocket here which is fixed to the starter motor let's move that out of the way and then we have a smaller sprocket here fixed to the alternator brushless motors run at a far higher speed than these engines can. So, well, what is it like when we apply power? Right, you, using some temporary leads from a 12 volt battery I will show you the starting cycle the wires don't want to stay in place just a minute
turning the motor around, which is a little bit precarious. Try and move some of these wires out the way, some of these pipes out the way. Which it doesn't want to do. And there we have it, one starting system.